Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward. This is a profi pack kit in 148 scale and this time it copies Mirage 3C. So some of you might know this plastic but now it gets reused as a profi pack and we have a chance to check commercial samples so it means you will get exactly the same kit if you order it from Edward web shop. So, as you can see here on the box art, we have this nice picture of two air aircrafts uh, flying together. Then here on the side we have all marking options which are included into this kit. As you can see there are five of them and those are quite interesting um, camouflages I would say. And here from the other side we have QR code for the kit info page, address of the manufacturer, kit number and also short list of what is inside even though there is no parts count as you can see. So let's open it. It's a top opening box and here is what we have inside. So as you can see it's a bit of tight package I would say because as you can see everything is full with uh, sprues and Screws are separated into several plastic bags. We also have assembly menu on decal sheet on the bottom. Obviously we will check them a bit later. We are going to start with this. So let's move it here. And so, first of all we have this clear plastic sprue which is packed into the separate plastic bag. Um, as you can guess here we have canopy parts. So let's zoom in and now you should be able to see them. Uh, molding quality seems to be really nice. Of course with these parts you will be able to copy the uh, open canopy on your aircraft and masks should be included because this is a profit pack so there is nothing to worry about and I can show you this part closer so that you can see the molding quality. Here it is. It's really nice and here is another one. Also really cool molding. Even though this plastic is not new I would say. That's quite surprising that it's still up to modern standards and I think it will be interesting build copying this aircraft in such big scale. Next we have another plastic bag. Here manufacturer or Edward packed several uh, sprues. Okay so first of all we have this sprue. As you can see here we have various parts for the air intakes, we also have those halves for the fuel tanks and those are parts for the air intakes by the way here as well and here is an element for the engine nozzle but the most interesting is this cockpit 4 which is molded together with some elements and I have no doubt that it will be also upgraded with uh, PE parts because this is a profit pack so there should be some be included as well. And note that here in those halves we have guiding elements which will help us with proper alignment of those two large halves together. Next we have another plastic sprue. Here some of you might be surprised, especially those who didn't see um, previous or old plastic keys from Edward. Why? Because here we have parts for the pilot figurine and I can guess that in the assembly manual it will be marked as unused but of course nobody stops you from assembling it and placing close to the aircraft. We also have here two dashboard types, one with promoted dials and one plane for P ports, also various internal sections for the hatches which can be opened on this aircraft but we'll see it in assembly manual how um, which hatches can be opened on your model. Next we have sprue with various armaments. So here we have missiles and external fuel tanks. As you can see some of them are separated into two halves and I'll flip it over. Here you can see that we'll have to combine for example this part and this part. And as far as you can see there are guiding elements inside so I guess it won't be really difficult to join them together. The only thing you'll have to do is to sand the joint seam between those two halves. And note that one missile is already slightly broken off, I'm not sure why, but it's not serious I would say. Just to show you what happens due to tight packaging. Next sprue, again here we have uh, two missiles, also we have this um, rocket launchers, uh, engine nozzle, main landing gear leg, actually this is a nose and here we have the main ones, now uh, leather for the cockpit and also the engine fan 
which will be inserted inside the aircraft. Okay, next we have another plastic bag, again combination of plastic sprues, so let's zoom out a bit so that you can see whole plastic bag. Let's open it and we will check what is there. Obviously there are two fuselage halves and as far as you can see, due to the age of this kit we have, just a second, we have these two fuselage halves molded with nose section as you can see here. So you have to be careful while joining them together. We also have tail fin pre-molded on the right half. There is no tail fin on the left half. And external detailing seems to be quite okay, I would say. Let's zoom in so that you can see this recessed panel lines and riveting. And why we have tail uh, fin pre-molded only on one half? Because it will serve as a guiding element for um, during joining process of these two large parts together. And note that we also have the position pins here and here as well. So it will be easier to combine them and to align them together. Next we have another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated as far as I can guess to various internal parts. So we have afterburner for the engine. We also have parts for the main and nose landing gear wheel wells and also some minor elements for external detailing. Again some parts feature pre-molded um, details. For example here you can see wiring pre-molded so be ready to carefully paint all those parts with brush because otherwise it will be impossible to bring out those details on those parts. Next plastic sprue. Here we have the landing gear wheels house and as you can see inside we don't have any guiding elements so you have to be extra careful with this. Also here you can see pre-molded wiring, quite interesting design I would say. And also we have parts for the pilot seat which will have to be combined together. As far as I remember there should be also resin upgrade for the pilot seat so if you don't want to work with plastic you can buy it separately. And last but not the least is this gray plastic sprue. Here we have large wing parts, so I would like to start with this one. This is obviously a um, lower wing half. And as you can see here we have also nose section pre-molded. Of course we have recess panel lines and riveting. Let's zoom in so that you can see them. Here you can see them. And here we have the top halves, which are detailed in the same way. Here is another half but you will have to be careful while joining them. That's first thing and the second thing is that the only guiding element we have here is the wing edge. From one side it is cool because you won't have those um, ugly seams in the front edge, on the leading edge, but from the other you will have to somehow combine them together so that this line won't be visible on the model. But otherwise it seems to be really interesting parts design which should help you achieve more or less a uh, clean result I would say. Next we have also several bonuses because it's a profit pack. So um, I'm a bit surprised that here we have two plastic two PE threads. Actually I think it should be only one. So uh, this PE thread, let's open it. Okay, so here we have cockpit parts, we also have some parts for fine detailing of external surfaces. This is a typical adored product and just give me a second, I will take a closer look. Yes, we have also the, the uh, lenses replication on the dials, so let's focus the camera and now you should be able to see it as well on the video. That's a really cool finish, so be sure not to ruin it with um, matte worker as some people do. Next we have also mask sheet, so here you can see that we have several of them. Let's focus the camera, now you should be able to see them. Of course these are pre-cut stickers, here you can see another one. I'm not sure what they will be covering, so we will have to check the assembly manual. But these are really useful bonuses which will uh, speed up assembly process. And next we have another plastic bag. Here we have decals sheet, uh, there is only one decal sheet, 
but it features all necessary symbols for five marking options as you remember so just give me a second to open it okay so carefully remove it out of the plastic bag and in a second we will see what we have here. So, first of all, it is printed in cartograph. And next, we have also here this line. So, I guess it separates main symbols from the stencils. We also have some decals for the cockpit. And the overall printing quality seems to be really nice. So, let's zoom in so that you can see what I'm talking about. So, here you can see all those symbols. Really nice printing quality. So I think you won't have any problem while applying those decals on the model. The only thing you will have to do is to decide which marking you would like to see on your model. And next we have assembly manual. So assembly manual is printed in form of typical Edward brochure. We have box art printed on the first page. Note that no history note here. Then we continue with parts map. And whole assembly process starts with pilot seat. So as I said before, it should be assembled out of several parts. Then you also add P belts. Then we continue with uh, fuselage halves and also cockpit floor. Next uh, is a dashboard. As you remember, we will have to use the plain version of the dashboard part. Um, then we have engine nozzle installation and here it's written that don't glue on the wheel well edge, so I'm not sure why. Maybe next it will be explained. So note that for external fuel tanks for different missile types and also for some other additional armament, you have to drill the holes in the wings. Do not forget to do it because otherwise it will be quite tricky. Again, here you should be uh, careful because you should not glue the trailing edge of the wing and next we continue with this part for the air intake as I said before um, here we have the frontal section of the air intakes molded separately then we install wing um, onto the fuselage we install the pylons for the missiles next we continue with separately molded flaps and ailerons so that's why you don't have to glue the trailing edge. Here we work with landing gear wheels, both main wheels and also no landing gear wheel. We install everything in place. Here we install the canopy and note that canopy will have to be combined with P parts. So be ready for this. And also you will have to decide which version you would like to replicate with open canopy or with closed because it will require different parts. Here we assemble also the um, weather. Here we install the actually glue the rocket launchers or missiles and then you have to decide which load you would like to place on your Mirage. Then we continue with overall look of those loads. This is a masks application guide so you have masks for the canopy. We use also for various areas on um, on the aircraft and for clear areas as well. And as you can see, those parts of the camouflage will be masked as well, which is really cool. It's really nice that uh, Edward decided to include them as masks, not as a decals, for example, for this marking. And here we have two uh, marking options, first two. So these are color printed marking guides. Paint numbers are given in Gunze designations. Uh, we have first one coming from uh, Djibouti, October 1984. This one is from France, April 1976. This one is from Israel, 1971. France, May 1978. And one more here, Repub Republic of South Africa, 1982. So this one quite can be interesting to copy. And as you remember, we have masks for all those elements, so it will be easy to um, let's say cover them with a right shade and to get a clean 
um, paint job on your aircraft model. So this kit is already available for purchase, as I said before. You can get it directly on official Edward web shop. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support us by pressing the donate button on our website. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.